data listed below represent the yield for regular corn seed. Construct a box plot for the data. Okay, so here's a bunch of numbers. They want a box plot. How do we do a box plot? How do we make a box plot? Well, a box plot, to make a box plot, uh, first step is to order the numbers low to high. So we got to take these numbers and we got to put them in order from low to high. So what's the lowest number in the list? Let me see, 13, yeah, 13, 20, followed by 15, 18, I think. 13, 20, 15, 18. What comes next? Is it 14, 50, I think? Oh, no, that comes, <laughs> I get that backwards, don't I? So 14, 50 should come first before 1518, right? Am I missing any? And then uh, 1634. Okay, what else we got? Um, 1897, 1907, 1957. I'm kind of crowding that in there a little bit. Okay. Oh, I skipped 1940, didn't I? So 1940, then 1957. Okay, so now we're into the 2000s. Looks like 2063, followed by 2120, and followed by 2482. Okay, there we go. So we ordered them from low to high. Now we got to do a box plot. So how do you do a box plot? Basically, um, step two, <clears throat> you find the median. Uh, so to find the median, that's the middle, right? So if you have an odd number of values, it's then you have, well, oh, it's kind of getting bad there. If you have an odd number of values, you have one number in the middle. If you have an even number of values, you have two numbers in the middle and you average them, right? So we have, you count them, we have 11 numbers. So we have 11, which is odd. So divide by 2 and you get 5.5. So that means the sixth number, round that to the sixth number is going to be our number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that number's right in the middle of our data set. That number is smack dab in the middle of our data set. So let's locate it. Um, so let's find it. So it's right there and there's five numbers below and there's five numbers above. See how we know that's right in the middle? Okay. So there it is, right in the middle of our data set. So that's the middle. So you, oops, I kind of messed that up, huh? 13, 20, okay. Anyway, so uh, let's put a line right through that. That's the very middle of the data set. Now, step three, find the middle, the median, for the lower half, oops, for the lower half and the upper half. So I'm going to go to the lower half and the upper half. So the lower half has one, two, three, four, five numbers. So again, there's one number in the middle. That would be this number. So boom, there he is, 1518. This number in the very middle, 1907. And then the upper half, five numbers. There's the number in the middle. 2063. So it breaks the num the data set, notice, into four sections. Do you see that? This is um, this is the first quarter. So we call this Q1. This is the second quarter. We call this Q2. It's in, like it's a football game or a basketball game. Break it into four quarters. This is the third quarter, call this Q3. 
this is the fourth quarter. Breaks the data set into four sections that all have the same number of values in each of those sections. That's what a box plot does. And then you make your box from here to here, and then you extend what are called your whiskers to the highest number and to the lowest number. So that would be the 1320 here, the 2482 there. So this is the 2482, the lowest number. I mean the highest number, 1320 the lowest number. And then this number here is 1518 because it's the Q it's the Q1. This number here is the 1907, it's the Q2 or the median. And the Q3, 2063. That's what a box plot does. The box goes from Q1 to Q3 with the median or Q2 in the middle, the lowest numbers on the bottom, the highest numbers on the top. It shows you the spread of the data. Do you see it? In four sections. So which one of those is actually right? Which one goes, let me see, which one has 15, 18? Which one, okay, let's look at the 15, 18. Just above, the, the left edge of the box should just be just barely above 1,500. See how the left edge of, of this box is way above 1,500? No way. Here's 1,500. Here's the left edge of the box. It's, it's hitting it like 1,600. No way. See how the left edge of this box is right, just barely above 1,500? The middle is supposed to be 1907. Yeah, that looks like right around 1900. The right edge, 2063, right here. Yeah, that's almost to 2100. The upper part is past 2400. Yeah, the upper is supposed to be 2482. The lowest part, 1320. Yeah, that looks like that's hitting just above 1300. There it is. That's the right box plot, breaking the data into those four sections. That's what a box plot does. It divides all your data into four equal sections using um, the middle of the whole data, and then the middle of the lower half, and the middle of the upper half.